I'm hoping that, you know, last year was kind of a springboard and that, you know, we'll give ourselves a chance every year as opposed to maybe, you know, having a nice little year and kind of a feel good story. But, you know, we we want we want to get consistent and have a chance every year. How wonderful was that though? How good was that experience being able to do that in Cleveland? It was awesome. It was it was it was really fun. Um, you know, we had a lot of ups and downs, but we we got to September and we gave ourselves a chance, and you know we had to win every game down the stretch, and we did, and it was really fun. I mean, it, it, when we lost to Tampa, you know we were so crazy about that group of guys that it really stunk. And as proud as we were, it really, it really hurt a lot. You know, you you pieced together, which is so hard to do, and, and that's why it was such a good managerial job. You pieced together a, a pitching staff. I mean, you really did. And nowhere was it more emblematic than it was with Casimir. I mean, uh, just an amazing job, even with him, to even get him back into the majors and get him to do what he did for you, like he did against the Mets that day and stuff. I mean, just a, a, a terrific performance you did piecing that pitching staff together. Well, but I think to do that, you have to have pieces. And, and we had players that, you know, they accepted their roles. They, 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 they flourished and, you know, everybody knew they were going to get a chance. And, you know, so when you talk about a team concept, it's easier to talk about that when you actually are a team. And, you know, we didn't just play nine guys. We used everybody. And we had, you know, we had Jason Giambi sitting over there in the dugout that was as, as big a factor in us winning than anybody I've ever been around. You know, that's and amazing the way people talk about Giambi now. You know, I, I, knowing Giambi as a player, seeing him here every day and everything else, the way people talk about him now as a not just a great influence, and he's always very popular on every team. We every, Everyone loved him. We understand that. But now the way people talk about him as a managerial candidate, a great influence on the team, it really is true. Huh? He really was that important to your team, huh? You know, I, I I I've known Jason for a long time, and I knew he's one of the one of the, you know the best veterans. But I didn't know he was the veteran. You know, this guy was from day one. He impacted not only our major league team but our whole organization, and always in a positive manner. I mean, you know, I. I, I know I remember when he interviewed in Colorado. I kind of remember when somebody told me that. I kind of I don't want to say I rolled my eyes, but I was like, wow, that's that's kind of quick. And then after being with G for a year, you know, my thinking is Walt Weiss must really be good to beat him out. Right. I mean, he really is. He he will make a good manager. Huh? You really believe that, right? Uh, I think he'll make a great manager. Really? Uh, I think he'll actually be good at whatever he wants to do. Yeah. He just he's got a feel, and he's been there and done it, and he owns up to it. He talks about you know he's been at the top, he's been at the bottom, and guys gravitate towards him, and it's he just has a really good way about him, and he's valuable, valuable to me, valuable to our front office, valuable to his teammates. Um, besides the fact he can still hit a homer in the batter box, it's there's he just he really helped us. Talking with Terry Francona, the Indians manager, you know, uh, people when they think of you back in Boston with all your success there, they think of Pedroia and everything. What I think about is you coming to Yankee Stadium and and answering questions when people wanted you to get rid of Ortiz, and he was going real bad, and you were like, I'm going to stick with him, I'm going to stick with him. You stuck with him, he turned it around, and now he's like dominating again. You shocked to see him doing, I mean, you were the guy who stuck by him uh, all that time. I mean, but are you, are you shocked to see him dominating again the way he did this year in the postseason? No, you know, he's such a proud man, and I think he understands that as he gets older, he has to work harder in the offseason just to maintain, and he was crushed by that. I mean, we had to pinch hit for him a couple of times, and it, was, it, it hurt him, man. It, it hurt our relationship for a while. We had to kind of fight our way through it, but like I said, he's such a proud man, and those swings he took on the World Series, man, they were ferocious. Yeah, I mean, I mean for him to come all the way ball, back, yeah. Oh, if there was a ball near the strike zone, it was like he knew what was coming. Yeah, it was scary. It really was. Uh, were you shocked by what the Red Sox put together? And, I mean, they did it with a combination of the, somebody old and a lot of the new. I mean, they all contributed. But were you surprised to see them be that successful? You know what? I actually wasn't. I remember the day John Farrell got hired. and You know, obviously I got some calls. And, and I kind of remember saying that, you know, the glass instantly got half full. And and the, the buy-in from the core players, you know, like Ellsbury and Pedroia and Buckle and Lester and those guys, they all loved John and they respected him. And I thought they immediately got better. And then they made some very good moves. And you could see, you know, the, the, the veterans they brought in, Napoli and Johnny Gomes and guys like that were team guys. And, and it worked. 
and they all were going in one direction. And when you get talent like that going in one direction, amazing things can happen. You've been around Ellsbury a lot. Uh, how about Ellsbury handling uh, center field, Yankee Stadium, big contract, the whole thing? How will he handle it? Well, he's been in Boston for, for six years, so again, it's the spotlight's not going to be too big. In fact, I think he enjoys that. If anything, he might hit more home runs. I think he would, yeah. You know, he's never really used that monster a lot. You know, when he hits the ball in the air, he pulls it, and at Fenway, you know, those, some of those get swallowed up, or in Yankee Stadium, they're going to end up being home runs. No question. I mean, he had the one great year, and the other years he hasn't hit with a lot of power, so you think with his swing at Yankee Stadium, if he tries to, you know, pull that inside pitch, he should be able to hit some home runs, right? Yeah, I, I definitely do. And again, the biggest thing for Els so far in his career has been staying on the field. Right. When he can stay on the field, he's an impact player. You know, but he plays hard, and he steals bases, and he gets beat up. And, you know, sometimes that's just taking a toll on him. 